Hey, so let's start from the split screen. So when you are using your Redmi Pad SE and you want to uh, use two apps at the same time, you can do this. So for example, we can open the browser and also maybe the weather and notes. And right now, if you want to split the screen and put two apps uh, next to each other, we have to open the background apps by swiping like that, then clicking and holding on one of this application and selecting this icon. And right now we have to select second application from this background. So for example, the browser. And as you can see uh, right now, we are able to use two apps and we can split the screen and make one of the application bigger or smaller. So that's how it works. And the second option that is really useful, it's the floating, floating window. So you can move one of this application like this so let's click and hold on the icon of the application and select the floating window and as you can see right now this application is on the screen you can resize by moving from the left or the right edge of your application and you can move it between the screens with your finger by holding this part of the application if you want to put it to the quick menu to the right side of your device you have to swipe like that and as you can see right now it is attached to the right side of your screen and in this time you can still use the split screen so let me show you there we go as you can see we can move the multitasking into the next level thanks to these two great features so let's move forward and here we've got also another option to quickly launch the camera when the screen is turned off so we have to lock the screen and then double tap the volume down button looks like I just turned it off so we have to jump to the settings we have to go to the lock screen and here we can find this option right here launch the camera so when you turn it on and then lock your screen and use the double the volume down button two times your camera will open really quickly so you don't have to manually unlock your device and select the camera Next, we can go to the settings where we are able to increase the refresh rate of our display. So we can do this right here. And we can switch from the custom uh, to the default. But also when we are in the default, we can pick here to increase the refresh rate of our display to the 90 Hertz. And right now, as you can see on this animation, the 90 Hertz uh, gave us a little bit better performance of the display. You can also change uh, the sound of your media and songs by going to the sound settings, then going to the sound effects. And here you can find the graphic sound equalizer. So you've got some presets and you can also set your custom one. By moving these dots, you can set up your uh, media sound to your own preferences. So it's pretty nice and useful option. You can also protect your privacy by going to the privacy options. And here you can find uh, the option called the app lock. Oh, sorry guys, it was in the apps, I just forgot about that. But here we have the app lock um, and here we can turn it on and we can create our password. Uh, you can use this uh, swipe lock just like that, click OK. Uh, you can sign in to the Xiaomi account if you if you forgot your password, but I'm gonna skip this one actually. So I'm gonna click not now. And we have to wait for a few seconds and then confirm not now. And here we can select application that you want to lock. So in my case, I can do this for example only on the messages and notes. So click to use the app lock. And from this list, you can also find other apps that you can lock. But let's stay with the messages and the notes. And now, when I try to open the messages, I will have this password. Yes, yeah, so that's how it looks. And um, another option will be linked with our keyboard. So we can open the keyboard, for example, right here in the settings. And you can activate the keyboard clipboard by tapping on this icon you can turn it on and now you can quickly paste or copy 
your text your messages whatever you want and it will be appears right here uh, you can also click and hold on one of the on one of the text and tap to pin and it will be here forever until you remove it and the last tip will be about the camera feature so when you open the camera uh, you can go to the settings when you are in the photo mode just right here and we can enable function tap to take the photo so the screen of this device is really big and when you sometimes cannot reach this physical shutter you can just simply click on the screen to take the photo and yeah and that's all uh, the best tips tricks and features for your uh, redmi pad se bye bye